welcome back to Legal Beauty's holiday series where I have here look number eight and I am rocking a pair of one of Jenny69's new synthetic Batty B lashes. And I don't know if you could tell already which ones I'm wearing, but right here I have the full collection. As I said, I am wearing one right now. So if you want to see what I think of these lashes, then go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, please make sure you give this video a subscribe, a like, a share, and a comment, and click that bell so you get post notifications every time your girl Legal Beauty uploads a video. I see you all watching um, my previous lash review videos. I can see that my lash review videos get a lot of views, and I would just really appreciate if you subscribe. It does take a lot of time and effort to film these videos, especially because I have a full-time job, and you know, I just have like a normal normal day-to-day life as you all have. So filming a video is one of my hobbies and it does take a lot of time to get ready to put together a video and to edit. So I would humbly appreciate if you all subscribe to my video. So if you want to see what your girl thinks of these new lashes, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with this review. So as you guys probably all know, she has seven mink lashes already in the styles IG, Saucy, Extra, Baddie, Instaho, F-Boy, and Sugar Baby. And those are all mink lashes. So in here, I have the little precious synthetic lashes that she came out with. I'm not going to show you guys the other side because my address is on it. But it comes in this pretty much like holographic, um, like envelope freaking thingy. Um, what's really cool though is that I ordered these the day that they launched and I got them shipped. They shipped out to my house the next day. So the shipping was really fast. It's probably where I live though. I think I live close to wherever her headquarters is at because it literally arrived to my house the next day. Um, but let's go ahead and open these up. This would be my first time opening them up out of this package. And they come in like this bubble kind of wrap. So I have all three right here. This is the first time I'm actually unboxing them, seeing my order and everything. So right here I have the first one's baby doll. Oops, look at me holding it upside down. So baby doll looks like this, very, very pretty. Um, and then let's go ahead and show you the next one. We have Snob. Snob looks more of like a Miami lash from Lily Lashes. And then I also have, these ones are sold out as of, I think yesterday, these are plastic. And to be honest with you guys, when I saw all three of these online, they looked really pretty. Like Jenny and her model for the campaign for the synthetic lashes, like it looks stunning. But um, honestly, when I got these, I feel like I wasn't like too impressed just because I love the way her mink lashes look, but I don't want to judge too soon. So we're going to go ahead and do the wear test on all three of these and see what they really look like. I was kind of channeling her vibes that she had in her photo shoot. She had more of like a baby blue. I did more of like a Tiffany teal blue just to add my own spin to it. But I kind of wanted to mimic like the snowy vibes and like the blue eyes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I think it's only right to start off with plastic. Of course, I dropped a lash. Like it wouldn't be a legal beauty video unless something fell. So we're going to go ahead and do um, and try on plastic. Now, the packaging is a lot different than her original ones. It's a lot lighter. This is what they actually look like. And so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. So here is what plastic looks like in all its glory. It looks like a pretty full lash. It looks like I'm actually not going to have to cut them. They don't have like the extra black strand um, towards the outer and inner that you normally would have to cut. Now my eyes are really, really long, so I normally don't have to cut my lashes. So let's go ahead, take these out. Always be careful taking out your lashes. Okay. They, they feel like the mink ones, to be honest, like the band. They feel pretty. They feel good. So I currently have... I'm like shaking. I don't know why. I think I have too much cold brew coffee this morning. Um, but here they are. They are drying. Um, and the only reason why I wanted to start off with plastic is because if they're sold out, there has to be a reason why. Like they must be like really good. So um, we're going to go ahead and take the first lash. I applied some of my favorite duo glue. It's the one that has the green packaging. And the reason why I get this one is because my eyes are very sensitive. I'm pretty much like allergic to the other duo glues. So I get this one because it has aloe vera in it and it actually doesn't make my eyes break out. So that's just the glue I put on and let's go ahead. I'm going to get a little bit closer. 
so that we can see. And of course my eyelashes already have a little bit of mascara on them. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So the glue dried down really quick on the lash. So I just got to reapply some glue. Oh, wow. Oh, I hate when I get glue on my nail and then like it sticks to it. By the way, ignore my nails. Well, they're very easy to put on. Oh, wow. These are pretty. Oh my God. I was not expecting these to look like this. I think I should have trimmed them a little bit. I think I spoke too soon because they are kind of poking my eyes towards the center. So just FYI, if you have long eyes like me and you normally don't cut them, you might want to cut off like the smallest bit, but oh my God. Plastic is a baddie. She is really pretty. No wonder like these are like super sold out. Like it totally makes sense. Like they pop just like a mink lash would. I would say these are very reminiscent of a cross between her mink lash um, extra and saucy combined. Like if they had a baby, like I feel like this would be the lash, but oh my God, so pretty. I really, really, really love these and would totally recommend these. And they're only $14. So once you restock plastic, if you're looking to get some of these synth synthetic lashes, I would say definitely get this pair. We still have the two other pairs to try, but so far like this is just so pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the next lash. So this is what it looks like once I take it off and it looks like it's pretty easy to take off the glue. Again, this is plastic in my hands that I am taking off and I'm just taking off the glue. Of course, I'm gonna clean these because I do plan on wearing these. Like these are really pretty. Like once they come back in stock, I feel like I'm going to order like so much more. Actually, here's a good comparison. No lash, plastic lash. Like you could just see boom, pop. Okay, so the next lash we're going to try out is Baby Doll. So baby doll looks like we're gonna go ahead and take her out of the carton. This is what she looks like in the box. This is what she looks like out of the box. These ones are kind of reminiscent of, I would say a softer version of Saucy and F-Boy. I would say it's a cross between those two. So let's go ahead and apply some glue to these and then we will do the wear test. And again, it looks like I don't have to cut these. I won't know till I put them on again um, and see if they poke the inner corners um, of my eyes. And if they do, then, you know, no biggie. Just go ahead and trim down um, some of the lash. Okay, so the lashes dry down pretty quick um, when you apply the glue. Maybe it's just my glue specifically that I'm using, but it looks like you don't have to actually sit there for like 30 seconds to a minute to let them dry. Like you could just apply the glue and then pop them on. So we're gonna go ahead and apply Baby Doll and see how she wears. Super easy again to put on. It's like they just like lay flat once you put them on. Ooh. Okay, so no lash, lash. Actually, these remind me of Sugar Baby. So if you have um, the mink version, and you're just like a super fan of Baddie B lashes like me. You can kind of see the comparison once you're wearing them. Sugar Baby's a little bit more cool. Um, but if you don't like mink lashes, totally understandable. Um, these are very similar to Sugar Baby. So if you have seen pictures of the Sugar Baby lash and you do like them, then I would say go ahead and purchase these because they have more of like, they're shorter towards the inner and they go longer towards the outer. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the right eyelash. 
love how easy they just go on. Like there's certain lashes, y'all know that you have to like wiggle the band and everything, but these go down pretty well. Wow, so pretty. At first I was like thinking, no, like I'm not gonna like baby doll. She doesn't look like dramatic enough for me or like wispy enough for me, but these are stunning as well. Oh my God, like I know Jenny, um, I think she was saying in her latest vlog that she has had like no life because she's been at like her Batty B headquarters pretty much like her, her entire like day is spent there because she really wants to put quality into her lashes. And you can totally tell like she honestly doesn't have like in my opinion, like I don't have any bad complaints about Batty B lashes, especially for her mink lashes. And so far these ones, like they're super easy to lay down. Um, you can cut them and they still look beautiful. Um, and you can just see like how pretty, like for a synthetic lash, like these look like mink, like they're just stunning. So I would say that if you are a fan of lashes that kind of fan out towards the outer corners of your eye and you want them a little bit fuller on the outer corners of your eye, go ahead and get these. These are $14 as well, which is really good. And then you can also use an influencer's code um, to get some more money off. So these are stunning as well. So I can't wait to try on the last lash. So let's go ahead and move on to the last one. Okay, so the final lash we have is Snob right here. This is what she looks like coming out of the box. She looks really full. She looks like a uh, very reminiscent of the Mink Extra and the Mink Instaho and also a little reminiscent of like Lily lashes. So let's go ahead and take her out of the clear plastic. This is what she looks like. Ooh, looks really full. I have a feeling I'm really going to like these. It looks like I may have to trim these down, but there's not much of the black band sticking out. So I'm just gonna try them out on. And then um, obviously when I go to wear them again, I'll go ahead and trim them down if need be. But, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue these and then we will apply them. Now, just on a side note, like these ones, the hair on these obviously are not real. They don't feel real. They are synthetic. They do feel a little bit plastic, but oh my God, my little hand is shaking. I don't know why. Um, but when you put them on, like they honestly look like hair. It's a trip. It's a trip how looking at them and feeling them and seeing them, like looking at them and seeing them, same thing. Um, but yeah, when you're looking at them, like you could tell it's not hair, but when you put them on, it's so reminiscent of hair and it's so bendable. Like, I don't know how she did that. Uh-oh, let's move these wispies out the way. Let's apply. So these definitely have a thicker band, a little bit harder to um, press down just because they are thicker, but oh my God, Jenny, 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 Jenny. Oh my God, girl, impressed the freaking house. Like, oh my God. Wow, this one was a lot easier to glue down. I don't know why, I think this eye of mine right here is just acting up. But, oh my God. Dude. Jenny. How pretty. I am so beyond shook right now that these are synthetic lashes and they look this beautiful. Like I have worn synthetic lashes and I'm not gonna, I think name drop in this video because I have more lash reviews to come, but I have bought synthetic lashes that are just terrible. Like they don't glue down, they look ridiculous, but oh my God, you can tell that Jenny and her team put in a lot of time 
effort and pretty much like strategically, you could tell how like they designed these lashes. Like they wanted them to look like mink lashes. They wanted to give us um, that opportunity to have cruelty free lashes and they did that. They did that. Like these, oh my God, these are stunning. I would have to say, oh Lord, these and plastic would have to be my absolute favorite of this synthetic collection. But oh my God, look at me already talking too soon before I go ahead and do my outro. But these ones again are $14. You can use a code, one of your favorite influencers code. She has a lot of influencers who have codes um, to get money off of these lashes. But I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna zoom you guys out, give you um, my final um, take on what I think of these synthetic body B lashes. I feel like you can already tell what my view is going to be because these are so freaking stunning. Like I can not get over how beautiful these lashes turned out to be. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So um, yeah, I'll see you in my outro. All right, Glam Fam, so you guys are all zoomed out and I'm pretty sure you already know what my verdict is going to be. The Batty B Synthetic Lashes are definitely guilty of being worthy of your holiday dollars. And what's really cool about these is that even though they are synthetic, they look like mink lashes. They look like real hair. You could tell Jenny and her team put the utmost effort into these lashes. And thank you so much to Jenny and her team for providing us with amazing synthetic lashes that are wearable for any occasion. Like the ones that I'm wearing right now, Snob, like these would be beautiful for like a night out or if you're just gonna go to like a holiday party plastic is really good even for like a daytime look and same with baby doll I feel like with all three of these lashes like if you're somebody like me you could wear these during the daytime during the nighttime whatever but I would say these are a hundred percent again guilty of being worthy of your holiday dollars this is by far the best synthetic lash line that I have tried out and I'm really really excited that I get to wear these and I'll get to play with these and take more photos in them so I have a feeling these are gonna be like my favorite lashes um, I don't know if I like them more than the mink lashes because I just have to say it's a tie like I just I love the Batty B collection of lashes I'm such a fan girl so anyways if you liked this review of the Batty B synthetic eyelash collection then go ahead and give this video a like share comment and subscribe it is the season of giving so I would appreciate it so much if you all subscribe to my channel I have a lot more lash review videos coming up on my channel that I will be dropping um, within the next few like videos coming up so yeah make sure you stay tuned and I had so much fun filming this video I can't wait for Jenny 69 and Batty B lashes to put out more lashes for us consumers so that we can just look like baddie b girls every day so anyways i'll go ahead and see you all in my next glam video deuces peace and happy holidays from your girl legal beauty